So this video is about how to combine like terms uh, using the concept of a zero pair. So a zero pair is something like when you have a six plus a negative six, and these are opposites, and you're going to get a quantity that's equal to zero. Um, but this time we're going to be using things such as x plus a negative x, and that's also going to be equal to zero. So I'm going to just redo some problems that we did in class today, just if you're absent or you just need a little bit of review. So once again, here's two. So two represented by two dark little unit one, unit ones. Two x, so here's an x plus an x. Here's another x um, minus plus negative three, and then plus negative three x. Um, and then we're looking for zero pairs. So here's a plus two. And then here's a minus two. So this is a zero pair. So that is removed. And then here we have three positive x's. So 2x plus x is 3x. And a plus negative 3x. These are opposites. So those cancel. Those are zero pairs. And what we're left with is negative one. Now you're not always going to have the benefit of algebra tiles. So I'm going to kind of teach a couple other strategies on how to do this. So I like to use uh, colored pencils, but there's other ways you could do it, so like highlighter. So I think about collecting like terms. So here's a two, and then the other like terms, the other constants are plus negative three. So two plus negative three is equal to negative one. And then I'm gonna look at my um, just plain x's. So plus two x, and I always want to include the sign in front of it so I know whether it's positive or negative. So plus 2x plus x is 3x, and 3x plus negative 3x is 0, so these all cancel out. So let's build the other one. Once again, this is also from um, class today. So um, negative 2 plus 2x, sorry, negative 2 is the red side, negative 2 plus 2x plus a 1, plus negative x. And then these um, little bars represent 5 units. So this is the negative 5 plus 2x. Okay. So this is my expression, negative 2x plus 2x plus the 1 minus x plus negative 5 plus 2x. And once again, I'm looking for zero pairs. So I can see I have a positive x and a negative x, so that's a zero pair. I have a plus one and a negative one, so that's a zero pair. And then I'm going to combine my like terms. So I'm going to start with my x's. I have one x, two x, three x's. So this is equal to three x's. A negative one plus a negative five, so plus negative 6, or you could just say 3x minus 6. Once again, looking at this without the algebra tiles, um, once again, you always want to make sure you include the sign in front. So plus 2x minus x, plus 2x minus x is x, plus 2x is 3x, which is what we have right there. And then with the constants, or the numbers that don't have, um, the terms that don't have variables with them, minus 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and negative 1 plus negative 5 is plus negative 6, or just 3x minus 6. Um, other strategies you can use is you can also be like, I'm going to underline these once, the terms that have just x's, and maybe double underline those. And once again, when you're finished, everything should be included, including all of the signs. And if you don't, then you might your, your final answer might be off. And then 106, okay, so this is problem 106 from today, was looking at these, and uh, once again, these are the positive values, and the empty spaces are the negatives. And so you're looking for zero pairs. So... The, the original expression, so I'm going to first write the original expression. I have 2x's plus 4 plus negative 2x plus negative 3. 
and then I'm going to look for zero pairs, I can see that a 2x and a negative 2x cancel. So a 2x and a negative 2x cancel. And then here I can see that three of the positives cancel three of the negatives. So I'm left with, so positive 4 plus negative 3, I'm left with just 1 for this answer. So that expression simplifies to 1. For part B, I'm going to write my original expression down first. So I have 2x squared. So 2x squared. I have plus 2x. I have plus 2. I'm dealing with all the positives first. I have plus negative 2x. And then I have plus negative 3. And then I'm going to see if anything cancels. There's no other negative 2x's, so I still have the 2x squares. And then looking for like terms that are zero pairs or that are opposites. Here's a plus 2x and a minus 2x. So this term and this term cancel. And then I can see these plus 2 and those negative 2's cancel. So what I'm left with is 2x squared plus negative 1. Once again, positive 2x plus negative 3, negative 1. So that's where this stuff is coming from. Okay, and then as I said, you're not going to always have algebra tiles with you, so having some strategies on how to do that without. Once again, I like to use just uh, colored, you know, just highlighters or something. So I'm going to start with the variables first because that's the standard way that we would write it. I'm going to include the sign in front. So I have a plus 4x and plus 2x, so that's negative 2x. Negative 2x plus x gives me negative x. Okay, so that's where that's coming from. And then with the constants, I have negative 1 plus 2 gets me a plus 1. Okay, so that's my simplified expression. And then over here, once again, starting with the variables first, 2.5x plus 3x gives me 5.5x. Once again, just you can deal with the coefficients, 2.5, and we can see it's about 2 plus 3, so 5.5x. And then dealing with the regular numbers or the constants, plus 5 and negative 3.5, so I have a little bit more positive than negative, and specifically by 0.75. Okay, so that's how that one simplifies. So um, once again, do the homework, check your answers, and um, come back to this video if you need a little bit more support.